<laughs> yes. Ooh. Y'all, it has finally came true. We got some of our friends. Dustin. Robert. Oh, go ahead. My bad. Dustin <laughs> and Robert. So you saw him on Instagram? I mean, I, I heard. Yeah, I heard. Somebody told me that like, he got a big dick. So I was like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, so the next one would be: Have you guys ever done a threesome? And would you guys ever do one? More cheers. Y'all drink some of those. drinks done. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is Pierre Mason. <laughs> to the gay safe space with Curry and Pierre and y'all it has finally came true we got some of our friends Dustin. Robert oh go oh, ahead my bad Dustin <laughs> and Robert <laughs> and y'all fresh shout out what's up what's it Dallas, Dallas Texas, Texas. Ooh, Dallas y'all fresh out of Dallas honey yes fresh, honey. first and foremost y'all we've been cheers and all day y'all we lit been cheers out all day. All day. Yeah. We, all we day. fresh from a cheers to Robert's birthday. Cheers of food. Gemini season. Gemini season. Mm. The best season. We'll let them think that. Oh, right. <laughs> delusional. Yes. Oh, very much so. Not delusional. Child. But yeah, so we kind of just wanted to have a conversation with y'all yeah. and bring y'all to the KP Nation. So that way they can see y'all and know that, hey, it's not just us out here. We got, there's other gay black couples out here doing the damn thing in other cities. And they fresh out of Dallas. And they, they making shit happen. And they on YouTube. So before you go any further, stop what you're doing. Like, comment, and subscribe. And go look them up. That's yes. Dustin and Robert. Dustin and Robert. Their name will be all in the description, so that way you can check them out. We'll put it on the screen so you yes. guys can just go find them. Yes. Really. But um, to start off, I just wanted to say thank y'all for coming. I know I said that behind the cameras. I wanted to say in front of cameras. We are so proud of what y'all doing and the growth. Thank you. We're so proud of y'all too. Like we, we've been watching y'all too. Like y'all. Y'all been doing y'all damn thing yes. and shit. Like we all just growing and our channels are growing. Period. Like, yeah, yeah, we are gonna make it. We are gonna make it. We, we are. We speaking that shit into existence. So we just gonna have a little conversation. That's all today gonna be, and we just gonna chop it up and go from there. For sure. All right. So let's start with a quick game. Yes. Of this or that. This or that. Okay. A nice little warm up game. You okay. Know, just to, even okay. though we already done warmed up, y'all, we lit. We are. We are. We, we outside. We was outside. We was. And we going back. Back after outside. This. Back outside tonight. <laughs> back outside tonight. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We never left. Like so. we ain't never left. Right. Okay. So this or that? Picnic at a park or date night at a restaurant? Date night at a restaurant. Date night at a restaurant. Okay. 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 Christmas or Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Okay. My fat ass. Christmas. Okay. Yes. Cause y'all Christmas was lit. It Let was. me tell you. Yeah. Y'all. What do y'all prefer eat? Breakfast or dinner? What do you prefer? Mmm. I always say breakfast. I'm a breakfast type of dude. Like I love breakfast. Like I'm a breakfast type of dude. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Well, let me go. So this is the one. It's a little spicy now. Okay. 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 Come on. Right. Come, so come on with it. Sex on the balcony or sex on the beach? I feel like I'll uh, like sex on the beach. Like, like get drunk, you get drunk as fuck and have sex on the beach. Right? Yeah, they have, have some experiences yeah. on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You vacation or family vacation? You said vacation or family vacation? Vacation or family. Vacation. <laughs> vacation. Period. Every time. Every yeah. time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> yeah. I ain't, ain't got to deal with nobody. Shit, I can just deal with me and my man. Right. Yeah. My, my man, my man, my man. Yeah. man. Yeah. Vacation all the way. Okay. All right. So I'll go. So uh, sugar and grits or salt and grits? Sugar and grits. Period. Ooh, he, he got me on the sugar and grits. So oh, sugar and grits. He got me on sugar and grits. Sugar and grits. Oh, sugar and grits. Sugar and grits. Oh, sugar and grits. Sugar and grits. I'm so tired of y'all. Yeah, yeah. so, 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 salt, 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 and pepper and butter, please. They good like that though. 
They can love that too. Tomatoes, now I know, tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes. Now I know y'all from Texas, but y'all just gotta answer this question. Uh huh. Houston food or Atlanta food? Houston food. Houston, 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 trash. Oh my Houston, God. Houston, it's no season. Atlanta is no trash. Oh, God. We agree. Atlanta. No. Houston. <laughs> we want to say Atlanta is trash, but Houston food. Definitely is better. It's better. times. Yeah. Go Definitely. to Houston. If you've never been to either one of those places, either one of those cities, go to Houston. Houston. Is where it's at. But not only do they have trash food, the service be trash too. <laughs> shit, like the it takes so long trash, for the food, yeah. the food be cold. Oh my like, god! Like, what do you do? Long in the food cold. Long time. Do. So, would you rather go to brunch or to the club? Brunch, brunch, brunch. yeah, brunch. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know we, we the uncles over here. Little, we love some brunch. Let me get it. Alright, so the next segment is basically a uh, get to know y'all segment. We want to, ooh, that's a renaissance. Y'all, if y'all hear our dog, What's up? he he relax. wants some attention. Relax. 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 I did. Your ass. Yeah, okay. But yeah, so our next segment is just basically trying to get to know y'all a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Of course, separately, but as well as. Together. You know, yeah, together, but right. I guess we'll start with the we'll birthday, start with boy. birthday boy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my first question to you is, where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas, born and raised. Period. Boy. Okay. So you from right. Dallas? All okay. right. To be exact. Born and raised. So how was it for you coming into your own? Like just figuring out that. I know this is a deep question, y'all. But like, okay. I'm a little different. I like guys. Like, what age was that for you that you was like, okay, um, I like guys and I, I'm, I'm into guys. I'm, I'm different than everybody else. Well, I'll um, say about the eighth grade. Um, I was staying with my dad and I had some street friends that stayed on the same street. Clearly, um, we was outside. We was just chilling and vibing. It was like four of us, and he had basically pulled his pants down, and I seen like all these people here, and it was like I don't know, it just turned me on. Something about it that like just turned Period. me on. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like this is you know this, this is it. it, like this is this is how I know I like dudes. Oh, you know, but I that. never like act on it. It was right. just you know more so like okay, like this is a confirmation. Oh, you, right. you never told me that. Okay, we 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 getting some first today. That's Wait, why you never told me that? Child, listen, yeah. every day is a learning experience. Right. Including today, that's all that is. That's it. Oh, yeah. So in that moment, that's when you was like, okay, I'm a little bit different. Like, what was that? How was school for you? Like school coming up, um, going. So what grade was you in when you when, that moment? What grade was you in? I was in eighth grade then. Okay. Yeah, I was at great then. Right. But it wasn't never it was never like a phase where people thought that I was like gay or like different. Mm-hmm. Like I was just not a normal straight dude to their eyes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that was all throughout middle and high school? Mm, I'll say once I got to high school, I wanna say about my, my junior year mm-hmm. is when like, you know, the world was like, Oh, I think he's gay or like is he gay or like, you know, the question you know, is he gay? What's you know? What's coming, coming around? around. Yeah, what's coming around? Okay. Oh, uh, trust me, we I've been there too. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it, and like, how did you when it was like, how did you deal with that? Like, what was your? Uh, it's crazy, but like at the time that the rumors were going around, I had a girlfriend, so it was like mm. my girlfriend's like, "Are you gay? Are you you know this or that?" And I like always deny it, but like. Deep down inside, I do it. I, I had an attention for dudes, but it was never like acted upon, so I couldn't say like, yeah, I'm gay. Right. Because right. I, nev- I never had did anything with guys, so, you know, but right. I knew I had an attraction. So, okay, so I get your experience in school, and if y'all see our dog Renaissance running around, sit, be a good boy. So, how was it like, and like I said, I want to get into who you were before, Y'all got together. So how was it for you 
when you're like did your parents yes. have any inkling about like what was going on like when you're in high school and they started asking yes. questions like did your parents have anything to do with that as well i want to say my mom she asked me after i graduated um if i was gay but she only asked me because one of her like one of my co-workers were like her friend Mm. And I guess it was like a rumor going around at work that like I was just like to me or like I was, you know, talking to me and, mm. and her friend basically like told her like, hey, your son, you know, X, Y, Z. Mm. And she asked me, but like I denied it even though I knew like it was true. Mm. It was just more so like I was scared because like I was still living in our house. Right. So it was more so like. Don't yeah, I don't want to get put out. I don't want to, like, you know, anything to drastically change. So I don't know, but I mean, okay. Right. So did your mom ever ask you? Mm. No. She, well, she asked me like during that time. She asked like, "Hey, such so such is telling me that X Y Z is going on at work. Going to take is it true?" I'm like, "No," but that was literally the end of it. Well, it was the fact that I had like a lot of female friends and like. Me and the female friends wasn't like fucking, okay. fucking, basically, right. yeah. yeah. And they felt like, oh, I was the gay friend of it, you know, shit like that. But it wasn't really nothing serious. No. Okay. Did you ever have like a coming out moment or coming out story to your parents? Um, you out to? Not really. Um, when did you come out to your? I mom? Did, I will say. When you moved him in your house, you a couple of months. Me and Dustin was in a relationship and I had his necklace. It had said Dustin and I used to wear it. Period. I yeah. was I had moved back home from college with my mom and my brother. And um when did I walk in and I had his necklace on so I used to take it off. <laughs> before I went down. <laughs> but you but it off. Oh, I, you used to, to, yeah, I used to take it off before I went to have just the And for God you're not comfortable. Yeah. But I ended up having it on one day and I walked in and my brother was like, Who is Dustin? My nigga. But he asked me as, as he asked me as if I he was he asked me when I was walking to the bathroom. So once I went to the bathroom, I took it off. And when I came out, I yeah. the same day I'm like, made it a conversation with, you know, you know, go somewhere else. So he, when I came out, my mom was like, Who is Justin? I'm like, Oh, that's my friend or whatever. Um, so why are you wearing his neck? And then that was it. Like okay. that was it. That didn't that question yeah. or anything like that. And then eventually Justin ended up moving with us. <laughs> and, um, I teach my mom like, hey, my friend Justin is coming to stay X, Y, and Z. She's like, okay, cool. And he came and yeah. that was that. And she ain't <laughs> never been like, are you? She doesn't have to. Well, she she me, one day she picked me up for work. And she asked me, she's like, so who, you know, who is this friend, Dustin, that's staying, like, that's staying with us? And I'm like, she's like, why you didn't tell me? I'm like, uh, because you defended me so many years. Like, you know, you defended me because I, I denied you that I was gay because you, you asked me before right. if I was gay. Right. And I denied so I'm like, you know, I just never said anything. But, you know, it is what it is. She accepted me. But you had told her what you asked me. I was like, no. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you. Like, you still have to need to. <laughs> Renaissance, where are you going? Right, welcome, Out. Welcome, welcome Out. Out. Let's hear from them. Yeah, so let's, we're going to, like, where you were from, from where like, like, how was it going yeah. up? Where are you from? from? Like, well, I'm, so I'm, from, I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri. No, Kansas City, Kansas. Okay. But I've been in Houston most of my life, so I say I'm from Houston. Okay. And growing up, I mean, I had a sibling. I had... A sister and a brother. My sister used to like call me gay and shit. Like she knew I was gay. Like I, 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 I used to be gay since I, I was like in kindergarten. Oh my god! I was never, I was never attracted to like females. Like never. Like, I had one girlfriend, but like that was like in. That was way. I mean, I didn't ever had sex or nothing. It was just like having a girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, first, I want to know how was it in school. And the reason y'all keep asking about school because our experience in school have Crazy. definitely been real. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I want to know because this could help somebody else out who possibly may be in school right now and don't know how to move or what to say yeah. or what deny, to do. Deny, deny, deny. 
Denied. Denied. What I will say, don't ever come out until you feel like you're coming you. out. Don't make nobody. Until you feel like you're yeah. you out. Know, but I, know, I never had like a, I never had a girlfriend, so people like suspect like, oh, he must be gay. Mm-hmm. And I had like a bunch of female friends, like Robert said, he he had some. Too. It was a gay mm-hmm. friend. And yeah, yeah, I was a gay friend. Like everybody had the females had like boyfriends and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm just a gay player. Period. So, like, what was, now that I know your relationship at school, what was your relationship at home? Like, when did your parents finally, like, when did you say something to your parents? Or um, your, okay, so I, I never was said. Was it both parents? Or? Yeah. I, I, I never said anything to my parents. Like, what happened was, me and this boy, okay, we we he had his mama's truck or whatever. And we had went into the high school, like, parking lot where it was, like, darker shit like that. And the cops had came, right? Oh, the cops had pulled up, and it was like, what are y'all doing, blah, blah, blah. And then he had told me, like, you like, was going to take your shirt off or whatever. And then, so they had, told, they had told us that my parents had to come get me, and his parents had to come get the truck. So, that was what. Well, that's what yeah. they called. <laughs> <laughs> that was a recording hotel? The no, the last one. Oh. Yeah, but the yeah. parents was like. Yeah, but the parents like, they're like, they could tell me you was gay or whatever. Like, they could just understand. Oh, that they was cool as hell. But they suspected it. They suspected because I never brought a girl around. Right, I never, never had a, one. Yeah, I never had a girlfriend. What age was that? That was like, shit, 16? Oh, yeah, you start too young. <laughs> <laughs> like 16? <laughs> shit. No, I in the streets. Yeah, I, knew, I knew I was gay. I knew I was gay. As you should. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to head to our couples, our couples Q&A. What year did you guys meet? 2019. How oh, did you all meet? Wait, wait, wait. When Ooh. did we meet? Oh, was 2019, 2018. When we, when you, when you messaged me, it was, it was December of 2018. Let's be okay. clear. Okay, yeah. okay, but you still, you still mm-hmm. didn't respond. I responded in 2018, but we kind of like. So I did, wait, so you DM him? Yeah, I did. What did you say? What did you say? I just said what's up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you DM him? I thought he was cute. So you saw him on Instagram? I mean, I, I heard he had, I heard somebody tell me he that he got a big dick. So I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, I wanted to see it. Look, yeah, look here, I was over here. Yeah, I look, I look, and he gave me like he gave he gave me like hood nigga at first, like look. <laughs> he gave me like hood nigga, like so I wanted to see like what it looked like. I wanted to see. Y'all, I was giving tra- I was giving Trey back then. That was when, that, was, that was before I came out to the world. And I was like hi, dude. Uh-huh. So I was just like. Trade. I was giving DM. He was. Yeah, as he was. you should. Uh, I, was, I, I messaged him one day. I messaged him one day. I was like, I was like, he's tall and skinny, so he's like, he got a big. <laughs> 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 I was like, he like, got a big thing, so yeah. shit. Yeah. I messaged uh, him. All rumors are true, <laughs> time. <laughs> but I wasn't I was looking for a relationship with that, for real. Like, at that time, to be honest, I wasn't looking for a relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't see what it was hit for. Mm. And then um, after that, it's been a yeah, it's been it's a been 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 stuck. I, 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 I made him fall in love, y'all, and ever since then, he just been head over heels for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Period. It's been up. <laughs> what attracted you to him? Like, what was? When he hit you up, I mean, when he hit you up, yeah, up yeah. 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 at first, when he first hit me up, he had so many days. I was like, mm. Cause I was, I'm, I feel like I'm a lot older than him. All right, can you tell the people y'all age difference? What, what, or what y'all ages are? I'm 21, and I'm 25, about to be 26 on Monday, which is the next day. Period. Right. I'm seeing this. Period. One more cheers. Y'all drink some of that. Drink's done. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is Pierre Benson. <laughs> But yeah, so what really attracted you to him versus everybody else that was sliding in the DMs? Like, what's, what made him separate from everybody else? No one knew him. But no one knew him because he was not in the street. He was not in the street. Period. Still in high school. Period. <laughs> right, child. Uh, high school. Child, you was rocking that cradle. He was rocking the cradle. Uh huh. <laughs> You better say he grown now. But yeah, he grown. Yeah, he grown now. Y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Always illegal. Period. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yep. Yeah. 
who came up with the idea to do YouTube? Like, which one of y'all was it? I mean, we would always like play like. We would always play like we started to vlog. Like, mm -hmm. if it, like we didn't have no camera and shit. We was like Robert. It was really Robert's idea because he went out and got a camera one day and got a computer and shit. He's like, okay. we're gonna do YouTube. Period. So, what made you be like, okay, we're gonna do YouTube? One of my coworkers was like, uh, we was at work one day and she was like, do y'all do YouTube? I was like, no. And like, that right there was like the last show. I'm like, man, we should do YouTube because yeah. everyone has access to do YouTube. So right. I had went to the bathroom and I had ordered a um, camera and I ordered a computer. Right. And that was that. Period. We got off, I, we had got off work and I was like, Dustin, we gotta go to Best Buy and get our computer and camera. And ever since then, it's been up. Yeah. Have you guys been treated differently from your friends and family? Know that you guys are on YouTube. Like, do they like automatically stop? Oh, you all celebrities or you're all whatever? I feel like we kind of do, like, in a way. I was telling him this, like, I feel like we kind of do get treated differently. Like, we feel like, mm mm. I feel like I've lost friends mm -hmm. since starting YouTube, but those friends have been the friends that have told me, oh, we should start YouTube. Mm -hmm. They probably didn't think you was gonna yeah. really start a YouTube though. Mm -hmm. That's probably what it was. They weren't your friends, for yeah. yeah, they wasn't. Yeah, they wasn't my friends. But I mean, it is what it is. I'm, you know, I'm not hurt about it. It is what it is. Period. Right. Life goes on. But I feel like people feel like we do have like, uh, like get a lot of money from YouTube right now, so they kind of do treat you differently. Yeah, they, 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 they feel like they feel like, <laughs> like you. They feel like you equal the amount of money that you have in your pocket. Yeah, like, yeah girl, that's not, how, it, 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 girl. That's, not how, that's not how it works. That's not y'all. Don't come in our pockets, please don't. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> don't know what's going on for me. Y'all know what we want y'all to know. Yeah. But as the other day, bills are being paid. Yeah, yeah. let's be clear. Trips are being taken. Trips are being booked. Period. Yeah. 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 Happening. Do you guys clap back to, or do you, do you guys clap back or delete YouTube comments that you don't like? So, I, I don't, I don't clap back because I be like, People would say shit to get under your skin, and I feel like once you give them their reaction, then they kind of like one. So I just like let it go. Like I just don't think about it no more. I don't go back and look at it or anything. Like, I just let it go. Okay. But I ain't gonna block you or nothing because that's money, honey. So you gonna watch? Right. You gonna pay us for watching this? I will delete a comment. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> just to put y'all on me. If you say some shit that I don't personally like and I don't want to see it in my face. Negativity chat, jealousy chat, envy chat. People be, be projecting. They do. Y'all be jealous. They do. Be, jealous. be mad. Jealous. Envious. <laughs> be mad. Stay big man. Y'all gonna go up. Both, our, both couples gonna go up. Yeah. Period. And that's just point that. blank. And that's just that. <laughs> so, um, how do you guys handle people sliding in each other's yeah. DMs? Like, how do you handle that? Like, if somebody slide in your DMs, you're the more popular one. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, I, I bet both. But then, lit, I, but I really don't be getting like that many like crazy DMs. But like when people do uh, slide in my DMs, I, if it's some, some some crazy shit, I'll show Robert. But if it's like some respectful shit, I'll just keep it respectful and you know. So if they send like a fire nude, like what is your reply? Robert not around. I won't, I won't answer it. I won't answer it back. I won't Especially it back. in Vanish mode, you know, sometimes they do that. <laughs> right, what are you didn't see that you can tell you're not going to respond. They do it. But I really, I, really don't, I really don't get, I really don't, surprisingly, I don't get a lot of DMs, like, news and shit like that. Like, if I do, it's like a viral request. Okay. Like, it's a request. What about you, Robert? Me, honestly. What do you do? If, some, if somebody seen you a Vanish, you can't show him yeah. because it's going away. You yeah. saw it, now what? Yeah. Somebody that you've been cool with because that's what niggas do. You can be you can be cool with somebody, but okay, no friends cool. from next you. thing you know, you got a new and you thought y'all was just friends. Yeah, now you got a new when child so, conversation is going so it holds somewhere else. So what do you do in that instance? Like first off, if he's not around me and like I open it, of course it disappears. But I will tell him like such such send me something to manage my This is what he said. Did you tell him it's fire? This is what I said, X, Y, and Z. Did but, you tell him it was fire? Yeah. <laughs> if it's fire, I mean, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about it, I'm not hating. If it's fire, it's fire. It's, it's fire, fire. Right. I'm not 
I'm not gonna lie about it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, I let him know what it is, who it was, you know, in X, Y, Z. Yeah. Period. He you know what it is, I know what it is. Yeah. You know, that's it's it. all about communication. All right, so y'all, we about to get a little spicy with it, y'all. We we didn't get him a little light, you know. That was cool. It was a little nice key key, but we about to get him a hundred degree question. Teacher, right? It's, uh, <laughs> so the next one would be: Have you guys ever done a threesome, and would you guys ever do one? Is the question. Say yeah, yeah, we done a threesome before. Yeah. Okay, how was it? It was good. It was good. Lit. Okay. Yeah, we ain't never said we ain't never said this shit before. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. All right. So, do you guys plan on getting engaged, to marry, anything like that? Of course. I mean, kids. I feel like I'm dating to marry anyway. So I feel like I just wouldn't be with a person just to be with them. Well, not future, but yeah, we definitely plan on getting engaged. Okay. I'm gonna be a little older though. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to be older. I'm cool with it. Um, Y'all both so damn young. Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. feel like? Do you okay. feel like there's experiences that you need? You still need to to surpass and get through before getting like locked down into marriage. Yes. Yeah. I feel yes. like I feel like that too. I feel like. Yes. I, even though I thought like we experienced a lot together. I feel like there are still experiences. Yeah. That we need to experience. But then I don't know if it's just different now. But outside, it is real ghetto outside. Like, yes. I don't want to be single. Like y'all, uh-uh. it's it's different nowadays. Uh-uh. Like, like y'all are a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's bitches who that you should take care of them and shit. Like it's just too much. <laughs> the standards is too much. Like. <laughs> it's like you're good. Yeah, the standards is too much. Standards is too much. It's like, like what? Your standards are so high, but so like what you get to the table is like. That's but he no, no. Right. No way, like yes. No, no. the same way. Mm-hmm. Uh, the girls be struggling, child. They, they need to take care of them. They do. But yeah, other than that, baby, you guys, any any other questions? All right, so yeah, tell me like, what do you guys think are like, I guess two pros and two cons of being so public in your relationship? Like, I feel like do you guys have any experience where it affected you guys negatively or positively? I, I would say two pros. Two uh, uh, con of being public is people feel like they have a say so like in your life. They feel like they have say so, mm-hmm. like uh, in what you do and they have an opinion and shit like that. Like when we don't give a fuck, right? Real, like so, yeah, it's, no. it's like and another con would be I feel like being in the public is you can you really can't say certain shit. So you won't like offend people or like oh my God. yeah you can really, you, can't, you, really, to yourself, you, really yeah. you really can't you really can't say certain shit you gotta just keep it to yourself like right yeah because I guess like a public figure and you just you know you inspire people so yes. shit you can't certain shit you can't say certain shit okay. well, I'll be two pros of all that two pros I feel like it is like it's good to that we inspire people to do shit like we we show gays like gay couples that. It is real love out here, and it's real like it's relationship. Possible. You know, just being to uplift people and put them in a good, positive mood, and you know, I feel like that's very good pro. And another pro is basically you you get like opportunities, you receive free shit. Like I feel like it's a pro too. You <laughs> receive free shit, right. free shit from like people and just companies and stuff like that. I feel like that's a pro. Okay, yeah. that's definitely a pro. For me, for a pro, I would agree with him. Like, you do receive shit, you do um, get yes, opportunities I. and stuff like that. Um, another pro is for me, honestly, I get to be who I am, true yeah. to myself, yeah. um, learn to, you know, not care about what other people think. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Basically, just being me, like living my life, because you want to get one. So you only yeah. get one. You might as well yeah. live it the way that you want to live it. Clear. True. Right. Um, oh wait, I got the the cons sure. of being like in a public eye. I would say the feedback that the viewers, um, you know, tell us or you know, mm-hmm. comment about us. But I mean, you learn to like grow, um, mm-hmm. yeah. grow on it, or like basically. Not just basically not give a fuck about it, like not care. Yeah, right. Do you guys feel like you're forced to 
like stay together or have like this this mm. image of what a relationship should look like because of the publicity? No, him no no. I feel like at the end of the day we give y'all the real stuff of what we go through, what yeah. we do, how we do it. Stop. When we do it. Yeah. And although we don't see each other like, you know, splitting ways, split parts in the future, I mean it is what it is. We live life how it is. What y'all see is what you know what, what you we do, what we give it yeah. out. It's yeah. not a facade, it's not fake. We're not putting on a front or like trying to show y'all what <laughs> y'all should be doing or it is what it is. Like this is us, this is what we do on the normal. Right. Okay. Renaissance, cool. bring your ass. He would not stop looking now. Yes. Okay. Alright, well he'll let me give you okay. what we gotta give y'all for your birthday friend. Hold on. Ooh, I gotta give <laughs> I gotta give. <laughs> Over there, the new closet, the, oh. this one behind us. It's the got first, in here? The first closet. Oh. Right there. Yes. <laughs> I got a gift. Who y'all gonna give me a gift? If you ain't giving me no gift, you, Who should, are feel, you? you should feel bad. Bad. Because, <laughs> bitch, it's our birthday and it's yeah. Gemini C. Yeah, it is Gemini C. It's a Almost. <laughs> it's there. What today is? Today is. When y'all well, see it, it'll be Jim when I see it. One more ah! day. Okay, so we got two black and two white. Ooh. So that way both of y'all get a black and a white. I love this. Yes. Show the, show the girl. We're going to show y'all. The fit, the fit space, the fit safe space, y'all. Y'all see. Y'all see. Y'all know, know what's going on. Period. Y'all know what's going on. I'm about to have this on the gym. Thank y'all. Period. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank y'all for coming. Y'all gonna be jealous. Y'all got one. Thank y'all for coming. We I love it. that, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and y'all, y'all gonna get a little clip. We gonna put. We gonna drop a clip real quick. Far as just me and KJ working out in our fitness event. Or in our fitness, fitness gear, gear. Mm -hmm. fitness event yeah, gear. fitness event gear. We I are y'all. I'm late. I'm sorry, y'all. We handing this out to all our fitness team mates. Uh, come March or May 27th. <laughs> so wait, we the first ones to get this. Y'all really? Oh, yeah. 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 Y'all see the back of it. Y'all see the back. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see the back. Period. The back is out. Yes. Yeah, Y'all the first ones to get it. Everybody else yes. that's getting it is a part of our fitness team. And yeah, if you guys are in South Florida, uh, May 27th, bring your ass to Holiday Park in Fort Lauderdale at 10.30 a.m. We out there, y'all. If you if you want to come out and get a good workout in, look, our dog. Look, bring bring him over here. Bring us out, yeah. Yeah, he love us. Good souls. If you are in South Florida, come out, fuck with us. It's gonna be a vibe. We're gonna put a little video of us working out in our new fitness gear right after this. So check it out. Yes. Right. Don't yeah. forget to like, subscribe, comment, and go follow Dustin and Robert. They're very lit. Their yes. vlogs be actually really entertaining. Yes. And you really get the genuinity of their couple and their dynamic. Yes. Yeah. So we love it. We love yeah. them and we're really happy that we get to introduce you guys to them. Yes. Thank you for having Thank you for having us on our channel. Yes. Um, and thank y'all yeah. for the shirt. Yes. Because yes. yes. we're the first to be here. The fit safe space. Y'all go support. We they in Miami. I know, I know. What's yeah. up? We out here. Yeah. I just wanted to give y'all a quick video of what the shirt actually looks like. And this will be exclusively for our fitness team members.
y'all. Thank you so much for staying around to the end of the video, y'all. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. That way you can get the latest alerts of what we have going on in South Florida. And if I'm you have in Dallas, Texas. And in Dallas, Texas. Y'all right. better be Dallas, sure Texas. to let them know. Let them know. Follow us. us. Subscribe to us. Everything should be in the description box. And will. Uh -huh. Period. And that's that. And that's we that, man. We lit. We lit. That's <laughs> it. But other than that, y'all, we appreciate the love. Keep supporting us. We we appreciate it. And till next time, y'all. It's been real. Peace. This is. Hey. Ooh. Y'all better.